have a whole nother bag. Like the bag is full. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the bag is full. I have to get my hands on them, do a review, see how they're. Oh, <gasps> what in the heck? There is a big bug. It's in my bra. Hey everyone, welcome to, welcome back to my channel. So I hope you guys are ready for another semi-annual sale video because this is the big one you guys have been waiting for. I think I'm done semi-annual sale shopping. So this is the grand finale, I think. This is everything that I bought over the last two weeks since the semi-annual sale started on June 3rd. I have so many body washes. Once again, if you are OG, you know how I do it every single semi-annual sale. I really stock up on body washes, moisturizing body washes, scrubs, all that good stuff. So if you guys want to see what I got in my haul, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so I have a ton of products in front of me, so I'm not really going to speak about every single one too much. I'm probably just going to name them and keep going to save you guys some time. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So shower gels, I did get Hello Beautiful. This is one that I really love. Had to get my hands on it again. I knew whenever the semi annual sale came around, so I got Hello Beautiful. I also got Gingham. This is a new one that is like new to me. I just recently started liking Gingham, I think the December 2022 semi-annual sale. So I knew for a fact I had to get the original Gingham scent. Really love that one a lot. This one I just got because of the old packaging and I think that the packaging is pretty cute. This is Seaside Breeze. This one is a old packaging. I think the newer packaging is like the marble one, which we'll get into probably right after this one. This is just the old packaging. It's nothing special, but I did get Seaside Breeze. I also got, if I'm not mistaken, Amethyst Waves. The scent smells really good. I love the packaging. I told you guys in one of my videos. This is probably the prettiest, like, Bath and Body Works packaging I've ever seen in my life. Like, it's so pretty. I feel like this looks perfect in your bathroom. I really like this one. Um, a little about this one. It has Dream Berries, Wild Blooms, and Soft Sandalwood Fragrance Notes, just in case you guys are curious. I also got... The Coconut Pineapple. I'm a huge Bath & Body Works Coconut fan. So I had to get this. This one is, um, like I was saying, Coconut and Pineapple. And for me, I love Pineapple. And I feel like a lot of people like Coconut. So I feel like this is like a good mixture for my channel. So I went ahead and got this one. Plus, I didn't hear much about that one this year. So I had to try it for myself. This line is also new. I have this one in a body lotion already. This is Sun Blooms in Suede. I love this packaging, it's so pretty. You guys, if you don't know, my favorite color is pink, so I really like this packaging. And then I also got the Indigo Dreams. This one, packaging, so pretty. It reminds me of blue jeans, and I love blue jeans, so I had to get this one. A little about this one, the fragrance notes are Bergamot Waters, Glowing Amber, and Warm Musk. And then, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is the last shower gel. This one is White Pumpkin and Chai. I've had this one before. The reason why I got it is because it was honestly one of two at one of the semi annual sales that I have. It was definitely left over from the fall. So I figured, why not? Like, why not have one already for when the fall time comes around? I don't remember loving this scent. I think I had it in the body cream, but the shower gel, I can typically work with shower gels. Normally, if I use one shower gel, consistently it lasts me like a week so if i happen to not like the scent on my body um even though this is the shower gel it'll be okay because i'll use it pretty quickly so i went ahead and got that one and then if you guys are new to my channel you wouldn't know but if you're an og you already know but basically i had mentioned how during the semi-annual sale i wanted to just buy moisturizing body washes but one thing i learned is that the semi-annual sale is really not the place it is a place to get your moisturizing body washes because it's going to be cheaper, but they do not have a ton of moisturizing body washes on sale. It's more so the shower gel. So even though I wanted to just purely get moisturizing body washes, it just wasn't happening. But I did get my hands on the Watermelon Mojito. I hope I'm saying that right. Someone in my comments corrected me. I really hope I'm saying that right. But if I'm not, I'll look at your comment again. I'll get it right the next time. But... I got this one because I do a lot of shower routines, or at least I used to, and I've never had a watermelon scent, I don't think. Or it's like very rare that I have a watermelon scent on deck constantly. So I went ahead and got this one because why not? 
I also got Gingham Love. I've never tried Gingham Love. I've never tried Gingham Intense or Gingham Vibrate or Gingham Gorgeous. All of those, but honestly, apparently they're going to be discontinued literally as soon as it came out. I swear it just came out this year, but sorry to get discontinued, but at least I got my hands on the Gingham Love. The fragrance of this one is Sugared Red Berries, Blushing Freesia, 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 Freesia. Freesia. I think it's Freesia. I always had to do that in my videos because someone told me I was saying it wrong and now like in order for me to say it right I have to say it wrong. So I think I used to say Freesia and it's no I used to say Freesia and it's Freesia. I don't know y'all. And then it is Rose Meringue. I hope I'm saying that right. Rose Meringue. I don't know y'all. I'm not a expert on talking apparently but i also got the bahamas passion fruit and banana flower this scent grew on me if you guys watched my regrets video on all my bath and body works i had this body lotion in my regrets but after using it consistently i actually began to like it it kind of reminds me of strawberry banana so i did pick up the matching moisturizer i really love this scent if you like strawberries and bananas i feel like this is really good and then this isn't like a body wash or anything but i do want to try the moxie bath and body works sells moxie i'm not entirely an expert on moxie what it is where it came from but i know bath and body works sells it i love bath and body works so i figured why not it was three dollars at the semi-annual sale you get 60 gummies and it, these are strawberry flavored and they're supposed to be i guess like melatonin it says sweet dreams sleep and it's a dietary supplement i haven't tried these out yet but honestly I have to work a 12 hour shift tomorrow and I just worked one today. So I'm thinking I'm going to try these tonight. I'm going to leave these out and probably do like a review on them because I want to make sure that I'm getting enough sleep tonight so that tomorrow um, I can record more footage. Um, for the scrubs, I got Pink Pineapple and Sunrise. I'm not going to lie, I hate the color of this scrub. I feel like this scrub has so much potential in terms of looks, but they just made it brown. It doesn't match the vibes like pink pineapple sunrise you just would think is so bright and pretty but then the packaging is okay but then it's like the actual like color of the scrub is just brown it's giving me sand vibes which I can understand because you have like your palm trees up here and then it's like your sand down here but I don't know maybe I'm just being picky but I just feel like it would be prettier if it was like pink or something vibrant orange yellow I don't know but I got pink my bleh whoa i got pink pineapple sunrise that's a really good um pineapple scent i also got coco paradise this scent grew on me um little foreshadowing i got this one at the semi-annual sale the perfume or Ode, what is it all day pop on what a pop on i think for 75 percent off i love it i use it pretty much every single day it's in my purse constantly i never take it out it's like my go-to scent at this point so I really like Cocoa Paradise. Um, it's a really nice coconut scent and I'm not a big fan of coconut. So that says a lot. If you know, you know, I'm not a big fan of coconut scents, but this Cocoa Paradise, yeah, I'm going to get the entire collection. I also got the Gingham Love Body Scrub, which I'm excited for. I hope before the semi-annual sale ends, even though like I'm doing like my grand video that all the other Gingham scents go on sale to like 75% off and not 50% off. I also got my hands on some fine fragrance mist. This one is the Fresh Coconut and Cotton. I like this coconut scent as well. It just pairs with literally everything. So I had to get her. And then someone had mentioned in my comment section, I thought that Poppy was going to be discontinued and they had me messed up because I love Poppy. And there was no way I was going to like let them discontinue it and me not stock up. But apparently... Someone had mentioned they think it's just going to be an online exclusive, which I'm okay with. Um, at least I could still buy it, but I kind of like stocked up on Poppy. So I got the Fine Fragrance Mist. I'll be honest, I'm not a huge Bath & Body Works like Fine Fragrance Mist person. Um, I do use them every now and then, but it's not like a must-have. It's not like a go-to. I don't use the Fine Fragrance Mist as much as I use the body wash or the lotion or the moisturizing body washes or the scrubs. Literally anything else. Bath and Body Works related, I use Fine Fragrance Mist the least, but because I thought they was going to discontinue, I had to get her. I also got Poppy in a body cream. This will be my second one now. I love this scent. If you're someone who likes those floral scents, I feel like you need this one. 
Then I also got the Amethyst Waves in a body cream because when I smelt it, it just smelled too good. And I had to get it. I had mentioned how I'm not really going to get any more body creams. But there were just a few that I just could not not get. Being that it was on sale and that was two of them. And then the last one was the Indigo Dreams. I don't think I'm a huge fan of this one but I do like it. I don't really know why I bought it in a body cream. I think it's honestly the packaging. Like I said it reminds me of Blue Jeans. It's really pretty to me. It's really a pleasing to the eyes and like really aesthetic so i think that's why i bought it but i'm not mad about it i really like the packaging then a little foreshadowing of the perfumes i got dream bright for 75 percent off this one was probably my favorite find um a lot of people mentioned to me that a lot of people were looking for these and a lot of other channels couldn't find them i did not realize how blessed i was until you guys comment how like so many other channels were wanting like all the fine fragrance mist that I have like I thought that I did not do good at the semi-annual sale but apparently like from the comment section like I did really good so I'm just very blessed and thankful that I was able to get my hands on half of these I also got the Among the Clouds Eau de Parfum love the packaging of this one I've only worn this one once this one was also 75% off I also got Cloud 9 I've never use this one but it's part of that same packaging i just think it's really pretty so i said what the heck why not so i got her then i got poppy i got two of these but i'm not going to show you guys because i kind of feel like what's the point but i got two of these and then i thought that this was a in shower mousse because i love bath and body works in shower mousse they are the most potent like stuff to shower with your body like i love it so much better than the shower gels and moisturizing body washes i just feel like they are just so much more potent and you can really smell them when you get out the shower i feel like they linger on the skin much longer but <sighs> apparently i don't read in stores this is a lightweight spray body moisturizer i'll probably be giving this away eventually whenever i figure out that giveaway stuff i promise you guys like i'm gonna do a giveaway like i literally had so much stuff and I cannot use everything. So this will probably be a part of it. I love this scent, but I don't want a spray on lotion. I just don't already have one. Then I also found Butterfly. I don't have the packaging of this one anymore, but I did find the Butterfly um, Eau de Parfum. This one, if I'm not mistaken, is a two fluid ounce, if I'm not mistaken. Then I also got two of these. I don't know where the other one is. I wish I could find it. I don't know how I lost it. But I got a hibiscus waterfall and a concentrated room spray. If you guys are looking for a room spray, something to freshen up your house or your room, I feel like Bath & Body Works is the best. Like, in comparison to Febreze and Downy sprays, put those away. I'm sorry, but these Bath & Body Works ones are so much more potent. And I feel like they just last so much longer. They're really small. They're more expensive. But I feel like you get what you pay for. You're paying more money. But it's going to last much longer. Um, I love these. I also got another one. And I really wish I could find it. But I don't know where it is. I also got my very first. Um, this is an essential oil mist. This one is eucalyptus and tea. This is my favorite aromatherapy scent. So I had to get it in the room spray i sprayed it in my fan you guys and i was in heaven it smells so good if you want to relax i highly recommend that and then we have a whole nother bag like the bag is full i don't know if you guys can tell but the bag is full okay i just got these i'm gonna kind of go really fast once again this is groovy watermelon this is my second watermelon scent now i also got the disco daydream these are limited edition so i had to get my hands on them do a review see how they're no oh, what in the heck there is a big bug i want to cry and it's in my bra drawer it's in my bra drawer like where did you even come from ah! oh my gosh it's in my bra. What am I supposed to do? I mean, I could kill it, but like, I'm scared. Okay, I'm gonna just... Okay, I got Golden Sunflower because I was really curious as to what it smells like. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am 
shaking okay this is jasmine and eucalyptus it's a body wash and a foam wash it's aromatherapy i love the packaging so i had to get my hands on her i also got believe it or not i've never tried this before not in a body wash not in a lotion literally nothing and this is like apparently a classic this is the japanese cherry blossom so i had to get it it was 75 percent off so i'm gonna do a little review see if i actually like it for myself and then believe it or not too i've never showered with the into the night i know this is also a really huge favorite but the last one that i had bought from the semi-annual sale i had said that um sorry you guys i'm still keeping an eye on this bug because it got me messed up oh it's gone that's what i get that's what i get anyways but i got this because everyone loves it and i want to see what it's giving what it's about the last time i bought it i gave it to my mom and didn't actually try it out so this one is for me mom you can have any other other ones but i want to actually try this for myself and see if i love it i got a i got two of the poppy shower gels had to stock up on her she's my favorite had to get her and then i got here's the other room spray this one is cinnamon spice vanilla i love my grandma's scent so i got this one excuse my dogs you guys know if you are og to my channel this is every single time they always bark i got the whipped coconut milkshake because grandma girly once again i had to see what it was giving and then you guys i think this is the last thing hopefully this is fruity sherbet scoop not a big fan of this one might go in the giveaway but i did buy her um i hope you guys enjoyed this humongous haul like it's so big i hope this video isn't too long like i really try to like wrap it up and i'm also looking around trying to make sure that i didn't forget anything um but yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video thank you guys so much for 3,000 followers um i'm gonna do a giveaway i'm going to do one so stay tuned i promise i'm not just saying that i'm just trying to figure out the ins and outs and how i'm gonna do it what's the best way to do it like most effectively and how many people i want to give away items to and how fast i want to give away my items it's a whole lot y'all but like i was saying i hope you guys enjoyed and if you did please be sure to hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in my next video